Dobro Dan from Novi Sad in Serbia. What you can see behind me is a Petrovaradin fortress. I'm off to explore in a second. At the moment, I'm in my favorite cafe, the Zeppelin Cafe. Just saw I grab myself a rakia. They've given me a bit of a posh glass, haven't they? Good health. Okay, I've just crossed the bridge of the River Danube. It's about a 10 minute walk from town. Uh, you've got the Danube Park, which is right next to the main area of the city. Um, if you just basically work your way from there, it's about 10 minutes. But yeah, this area is called Petrovaradin. Um, it's where the fortress is. Obviously, the fortress is named the same. But I really like these houses. The different colors, really quaint, very cool. Just trying to find the entrance at the moment. Apparently there's about 200 odd steps. So that'll be a joy. <laughs> but it will do me some good after the massive burek I've had this morning. So yeah, I need to work that off. Okay, I found the steps, but for your viewing pleasure, I'm gonna fast forward it and put some music on for you. You don't hear me huffing and puffing. Give me five minutes. I need to get my breath back. Absolutely killed me that has. <sighs> okay, what you can see behind me is the famous clock tower here. Also, you can see the uh, hour hand's been changed with the uh, minute hands. So fishermen can actually see from on the River Danube what time it is. Very impressive tower indeed. You'll also get absolutely epic views up here. You can see the Danube, of course. And then venturing off round into the city. There's no Sad in the background. Wherever you go around this fortress, you'll get a great view. Some facts about the fortress. The fortress was first built in the 1600s. Also the site it was built on, after archeological findings, there was a lot of activity here, going from BC to the Bronze Age. Also there's been great wars here. Uh, I think the Austrians were here and they were fighting against the Ottoman Empire. So this is a fortress with great historical importance. Also under the fortress, there's supposed to be a maze of tunnels. I'm hoping the fortress holds up bearing my weight after that bereka this morning. I don't want it collapse on me now. I was also speaking to the waiter at the Zeppelin Cafe and he was telling me about the exit festival that happens here every year. It's a proper goes off, a real good festival. I looked more into it, I looked on YouTube and I saw Snoop Dogg actually played here. That would have been quality. You've also got dotted around the fortress places to drink, like cafes, also art galleries. Get yourself up here. I'm sure in the summer months it's going to be delightful being around here. Here you go, the cafes here. Lots of places to sit down, eat and drink. With amazing views like this. Okay, I've gone for a little pick-me-up. I've gone for espresso with lots of sugar. I need to have to walk up the stairs and he killed me. But yeah, definitely come to the Petrovaradin Fortress. You'll love it. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.